again, everybody. We are back on the little wind turbine project today. And what I have done here, I have my blade material, which is a PVC pipe. Kind of dirty in there. Yeah, this is not new, <laughs> as you can tell. But what I've done is I took a piece of wire, wrapped it around it, and I measured the piece of wire. And then I divided my measurement by three. And then I marked off for three positions around the pipe. Then I took a piece of angle iron, laid it down on the pipe, and marked out three lines. These lines are what I'm going to have to cut to get my blades. My blades are going to be uh, about three foot long. I made the cutout a little more than three foot, so I've got some room to screw the pieces of pipe together because I think that's what I need to do to make this work. Everything is covered, which is okay, because we are making stuff. <laughs> there are three pieces here, and just maybe, if I can clamp these together and then mark out my lines, Maybe I can cut them all at once. Something like that, and... Of course, anytime you're working with PVC, be sure and wear your nicest, newest clothes because you will stay perfectly clean and not get turned like powdery white or anything. All right, so that has those roughed out. Well, I had to have a way to mount the blades to the generator, so. I come up with this. Um, it's a, uh, it's four pieces of square tubing welded together to make a shape so I can have the three blades on it. So th this will go on there, and then these will mount on there. Where this part's so thin, I guess having the extra metal will probably help. And if that don't work, we'll try flipping them over like this and see if that'll work. First, we have to get this mounted on to that.
Okay, so what we've got here is the blades and everything on the wind generator. Tuck that back here. And let's see. Hitting without me. hitting something. <laughs> or me. Yeah. It does spin. Now, uh, a lot of these screws are going to be replaced with bolts. I've just got them in here just for testing. Also, I've got to go through, i got to get some sandpaper, so I've got to go through and sand down the rough edges on the blades. Also, I've kind of got blood all over it, because <laughs> like with any project that I do, I, I, I've got myself a couple of times. But anyway, let's uh, see here. I guess it will sit down like this. Now, if I can figure out some type, some type of a frame, let's bring you all over here closer and show you what I'm talking about here. Okay, so like I said, these screws are going to be replaced with bolts. Um, but I made my own arbor here to hold the, the blades. And it's, you know, it's a tri-blade setup. Uh, the reason you use three blades is because four blades, you end up with turbulence. The fourth blade actually causes turbulence and actually you lose efficiency in your turbine. So a three blade design is optimum. Um, I still, I need to get some sandpaper because you can tell that this is not, perfectly uh, straight and all that but that's easy to fix with a little bit of sandpaper and once I get it sanded I'm going to take it around the edges too all right so let me stick this back on the tripod and we'll see what we can do about our frame all right well you can see behind me is the windmill and of course there is no wind right now so <laughs> it's not going to turn uh, it, it was turning a little while ago it turned some it wasn't uh, it wasn't whizzing around because there hasn't been that much wind uh, except for when I was working on it when I was working on it <laughs> the wind was blowing pretty good but right now there's hardly any wind so it's not really working and also we're down in the valley of course if i were to take it up on top of the hill it would spin up all right let's see what we got here kind of a wild looking little setup here we've got of course our propellers which need finished they're of course kind of rough um, they, they need a lot of work done to finish them out and get a little bit of an airfoil design on them and stuff like that uh, didn't have any sandpaper so I just cut them out and stuck them on there uh, and the part right here that I have to let it turn it doesn't well that could probably be because it's leaning because it's in the car hitch until I got it stuck in the car hitch this is actually the uh, if you remember when I took the uh, door opening assembly out of Zephyr, well, that is this thing. And it fits perfectly in a receiver hitch, you can see there. So it kind of worked out. This is actually uh, going to end up being my uh, connecting to my tire changer as a more solid way of mounting it. But, back to the wind generator. Um, I have it so that it does turn. And I actually pulled the car 
back and forwards a couple of times, but um, because of, let me get back a little bit so you can see, it's leaning this way some, it needs to be level in order for it to actually spin on its axis there. But I have the tail, which is just a piece of sheet metal that I screwed on to what these are, are trampoline poles. That's why it's kind of bent like that. And of course I welded the scooter motor on the end of it. I'm thinking what I'm gonna to have to do in order to balance it better. I'm thinking I need to move this to about in here somewhere because I think my balance point is too far back this way for it to swivel good. Also, I need to get a bearing and put in, this is actually a piece of plastic pipe here. That's not gonna be what I'm actually gonna support it with. And of course, it's not gonna go in the bumper of the car either. It's gonna go on a tower or on a pole or haven't got to that uh, bridge yet and we'll cross it when we get to it, but it's gonna go up in the air on something. But it's not gonna be a piece of plastic pipe. I'm gonna also have to get some kind of bearing to allow it to spin around. Anyway, that's what we have done today. It's not, it's not all complete yet, but um, I got a little bit done. I may end up actually looking at those blades. I may end up getting some bigger pipe. Anyway, for right now, it's like I said, it's all just a big experiment. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Until I can get a couple more materials and uh, get another day to work on it. I appreciate everybody watching and I'll see y'all on the next one.